like to first ask two questions to Surya, Mr. Surya, yeah. which you can both answer with a very simple yes or no. The first thing is, do you believe that the RA should function as defined in the Honorable Foundation Act? Sorry? That the RA should, the RA should fulfill the function it has in the Honorable Foundation Act? Absolutely. Okay. Second question. Do you believe that what the RA decides should be honored? Okay. So now let us see what the RA has decided. The RA, the, the, the Foundation Act says that the Residence Assembly shall formulate a master plan for the approval by the government. The master plan that the RA prepared is here. It's this one. It's not that one. It's this one. And this was approved by the RA with some 90% majority in 1999. It's this document. The GB was to approve it. That's what the Act says. But what did the GB do? The GB said, listen, let us just check with the Ministry of Housing and Urban Development of Government of India whether this can pass as a master plan or not. So they sent it to that ministry, and that ministry has an organization called Town and Country Planning Organization, TCPO. They were an order just last week again. Of course, not the same people as them, but the new team. And that team was headed by Dr. Meshram. Some of us are still in touch with Dr. Meshram even today. So they looked at that plan, at this plan, and they said, yes, beautiful, the drawings we don't want to disturb. But the text is not really a plan. It is aspirational text. And I've read it again and again, and it is a very nice text. It also covers all the subjects, water, energy, sustainability, but it's not really a plan in the sense saying what will happen when. So they translated this into that. The drawings in this, the layout of the town, is exactly replicated there. This shows the circular crown road on 18 pages, one eighth. Circular Crown Road is written there on 18 pages. It shows the radios, it shows the outer ring, but they have changed the text. So what did the governing board do after the ministry came back with its feedback? It had meetings, which were also attended by our millions, and then they gave feedback on the draft which came from PCPO. I just yesterday went through the correspondence, which fortunately somebody had, and then finally they approved this plan, in a meeting which was held in the Ministry of HRD, where people from Auroville were also present, Frederick was there, Jyoti Madhok was there, Mr. Balabaska was there, governing board members were there, Secretary, Ministry of Education, Dr. Meshkam, and one person from the Tamil Nadu government was also in that meeting. They approved that plan. <laughs> this is called a perspective plan. And a perspective plan is an overall plan. It needs to be detailed. So some people have argued over our neck in the last couple of days. How can you make the ground road before you have DEPs? The answer to that question is the ground road is a master plan road, not a DDP road. The DDP will define what happens on both sides of that road. What type of urban design, what type of densities. In fact, densities also have been given here, but you have to detail it even more. So if we are doing what you say, namely to honor the RA, then we have to honor that plan, that layout, and not discuss it every time when we do a few hundred meters of crown or anything else, the whole discussion starts afresh, Galaxy, Mother, Roger, the plan, and which we decide, we start discussing the whole history once again. The DDPs have been partially prepared but some architects of our world, who are now critical of this, have themselves built and designed buildings without the DDP. All the buildings along the ground, solar kitchen, library, Mahalakshmi, Arka, Kalpana, are built without there being a DDP of the crown. So when that was done, it was fine not to have a DDP. But when the crown RWU is clear, we need the first DDP. So we have also a lot of double standards around it. My second comment is, I saw a meeting, a lot of postings on our net, questioning a budget of 50 crores, which apparently is the first installment of a larger budget. So let me tell you what the budget was that the Aurobillians residents have proposed 
in 2001. It's here in this document. So this document is not only the master plan, it's also a development plan for the first five years, which was a very smart move because you can't make a master development plan in one day, so the first five years is in this document itself. And that adds up to 350 crores for five years. Now 350 crores in 2001 with the inflation is equal to 920 crores today. 2001, 350 crores is equal to 930 crores today. So where is 50 crores and where is 930 crores? So that shows that the amount that is being discussed about is actually a very small token advance. Have you ever calculated, any one of you, what would be the cost of this town? If you want our will fully to be built. Luigi and I did it once on a napkin. You remember Luigi? We had a dinner and he invited me for dinner, which is very rare. And we decided to calculate on the back of a napkin what it would cost to build our will. And we did some very simple formula, it came to 25,000 crores at that time. Now even if we take that amount to be correct, 50 out of 25,000, how much percent is that? Half a percent? One percent? So we have to start seeing in the overall picture of things and not just take one little thing out and then highlight it and hype it. My last point is about environmental impact. When you discuss environmental impact, you discuss the impact of an intervention here on a wider environment. You don't discuss the impact of an intervention here, here. Of course, that's negative. If I cut a tree here, the impact on that place is negative. But you have to see the impact of that intervention in the wider environment. So if you see, for example, the Crown ROW, 16.7 wide, 4.3 kilometer long, is point 36% of the master plan area, 0.36%. The crown plus the 12 radials, plus the outer ring, plus the international zone loop, plus one access road from outside to our will is 1.64% of the master plan area. Are we not able to keep 1.64% free from trees and buildings? What is the big deal? We have a green belt, which is three times the area of the city. Our green belt is 15 square kilometers in that plan. Now, we all know that the green belt will finally not become 15 square kilometers. For the simple reason there are villages, there are private development. Let us say it becomes only seven and a half kilometers. Seven and a half square kilometers, finally. The city has also 50% open and green. So you get two and a half open and green in the city. Seven and a half effectively in the green belt makes 10. Built up in the city is two and a half. So you have a ratio of one to four. Name me one city in the world which has that type of a ratio. So I would request all of us to see all these issues in the wider context and not in the sense of my tree, my fence, my gate, my structure. No, let us see it in the, from the helicopter view and then come, of course come back to the field to implement the work. We are getting emotionally excited we look, because we look at things in isolation, not in the full context, and we don't have our facts clear. So my request is, can we all have a deep breath, read this master plan, compare it with the master plan of 1999, realize that what has been approved in drawings is exactly the same as what the RA has approved. They have only changed the text, and they made it into a plan. And I am eternally grateful to whoever decided at that time, I don't know who it is, whether it was killed by or somebody else, not to approve our plan the way it was prepared, but to first refer it to the experts and get it translated into something that you can actually work on. Don't forget also that we have raised funds, we have bought land, we have attracted volunteers to come here. The government of India has intervened to implement this Nobody would have given a rupee to our village, it was not a plan there. So we have to be true to the plan we have also. My question to you was, are we going to be true to what the RA decides? I'm glad that you said yes, so let's do it. The RA decided to do this work, period. Thanks, everyone.